<laughs> That's a good size, that is. Big old male. Wow. Beautiful. That's a beauty. That was a lucky spot. <laughs> oh, I'm stoked with that. I am absolutely dying already before I dive. It's a hell of a climb to get down here. Well, just look at this. Water looks lovely and clean and close. Pretty excited to get out there and see what's there. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Oh, it's central. There were thousands of mullet in the shallows. I just uh, couldn't land a shot on one. There were only big wrasse around the wreck and it was fun for me to dive it, but it's not really great to watch. So I've got lots of footage like this, but nothing really worth seeing. This was looking for flatfish. It was seaweed soup in the shallows. Viz wasn't great. Uh, this is a marker for a net. Normally there's a monofilament fishing net underneath and it should be marked at the other end, but this one wasn't. Stay well away, they're very dangerous, very easy to get caught. My dive torch is the Orca D550 and I really like it. I find it very useful for a lot of the diving that I do. And it fell out of my bag um, somewhere about now. And I didn't notice at the time. Luckily, a few dives later, I found it again. This is my favourite spear gun. I've had it about 10 years. It's had new bands, new wishbones, uh, new handle, new spears, and now it needs a new trigger mech. So I grabbed the 75, even though the Viz was good, and I tried to do some hole hunting. This uh, rock with the holes underneath looks perfect for crabs, lobsters, and um, spiny lobsters to me. And I didn't see the crab at the time, but watching the footage back, I've just spotted this crab. So if you look just above the torch light there, there's two claws, and that was a takeable size crab uh, sitting right in front of me. So I should probably go to Specsavers. There were some good pollock uh, in this area, but it's very open type of ground and they were just out of range and I could have done with a longer spear gun. This was down at 20 meters and you can get turbot and brill um, sitting in the dips in the sand, but on this occasion it was a small place. Yeah. 
Overnight, the swell had um, really churned up the shallows. There was lots of bits of weed floating in the water. The viz had been dramatically reduced. And as you can see, I had to hold on to kelp and rocks so I wasn't battered into the rocks. But this seems to have drawn in the decent bass and there were quite a few good bass about this day. There was probably about six or eight bass there, a nice size that just swam off. Um, I thought I'd see if there's any on the other side of the rock, but once these fish see you, they're gone and they don't come back. That last clip was a complete fail, missed the fish, spear stuck in the rocks, see a huge tail in the hole as I swim back up. So what I need to do is to GPS mark these holes, so when I go back in the future I know exactly where they are, how to approach them, and it makes it a lot easier for catching the fish uh, by doing that. It was clear that the bass were amongst the reef, in the holes, and between the rocks. That's what I was looking for. Um, I look out in the open on my left and I just couldn't swing the spear gun around but there was a bunch of decent bats. You can't see them on the footage but they were there. I changed the way I dive so I then went sat amongst the rocks and looked out into the open and there was a humongous bass on my right just there that you couldn't see. It was a bit further out. Uh, the adrenaline starts going, I get the gun ready to, for if it swims around the corner. Unfortunately, it never came around the corner, so it wasn't really a great start to the year. <laughs> 